Deuteronomy 5. Moses called to all Israel, and he said to them, Hear, Israel, the statutes and the ordinances which I speak in your ears today, that you may learn them and observe to do them. Yahweh our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. Yahweh didn't make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive today. Yahweh spoke with you face to face on the mountain, out of the middle of the fire. I stood between Yahweh and you at that time, to show you Yahweh's word. For you were afraid because of the fire, and didn't go up onto the mountain, saying, I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make a carved image for yourself, any likeness of what is in heaven above, or what is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, and on the third and on the fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of Yahweh your God, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who misuses his name. Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy, as Yahweh your God commanded you. You shall labor six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God, in which you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your livestock, nor your stranger who is within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. You shall remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God brought you out of there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore Yahweh your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and mother, as Yahweh your God commanded you, that your days may be long and that it may be well with you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Neither shall you desire your neighbor's house, his field, or his male servant, or his female servant, his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. Yahweh spoke these words to all your assembly on the mountain, out of the middle of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness, with a great voice. He added no more. He wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the middle of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, you came near to me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, Behold, Yahweh our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, And we have heard his voice out of the middle of the fire. We have seen today that God does speak with man, and he lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us, if we hear Yahweh our God's voice any more than we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the middle of the fire, as we have, and lived? Go near, and hear all that Yahweh our God has to say, and tell us all that Yahweh our God tells you, and we will hear it and do it. Yahweh heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me. And Yahweh said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there was such a heart in them that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children forever. Go tell them, return to your tents, That as for you, stand here by me, and I will tell you all the commandments and the statutes and the ordinances, which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess. You shall observe to do therefore as Yahweh your God has commanded you. You shall not turn away to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the way which Yahweh your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Deuteronomy 6. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the ordinances, which Yahweh your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land you go over to possess, that you might fear Yahweh your God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you, your son, and your son's son, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. 
Hear, therefore, Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has promised to you in a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, Israel. Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is one. You shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words, which I command you today, shall be on your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. It shall be, when Yahweh your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you great and goodly cities which you didn't build, and houses full of all good things which you didn't fill, and cisterns dug out which you didn't dig, vineyards and olive trees which you didn't plant, and you shall eat and be full. Then beware lest you forget Yahweh, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall fear Yahweh your God, and you shall serve him and shall swear by his name. You shall not go after other gods of the gods of the peoples who are around you. For Yahweh your God among you is a jealous God, lest the anger of Yahweh your God be kindled against you, and he destroy you from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt Yahweh your God as you tempted him in Massa. You shall diligently keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and his testimonies and his statutes, which he has commanded you. You shall do that which is right and good in Yahweh's sight, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to thrust out all your enemies from before you, as Yahweh has spoken. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, What do the testimonies, the statutes, and the ordinances which Yahweh our God has commanded you mean? Then you shall tell your son, We were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt. Yahweh brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and Yahweh showed great and awesome signs and wonders on Egypt, on Pharaoh, and on all his house before our eyes. And he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swore to our fathers. Yahweh commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear Yahweh our God for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as we are today. It shall be righteousness to us, if we observe to do all these commandments before Yahweh our God, as he has commanded us. Deuteronomy 7 When Yahweh your God brings you into the land where you go to possess it, and casts out many nations before you, the Hittite, the Girgashite, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahweh your God delivers them up before you, and you strike them, then you shall utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them. You shall not make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to his son, nor shall you take his daughter for your son. For that would turn away your sons from following me, that they may serve other gods. So Yahweh's anger would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. But you shall deal with them like this, You shall break down their altars, dash their pillars in pieces, cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their engraved images with fire. For you are a holy people to Yahweh your God. Yahweh your God has chosen you to be a people for his own possession, above all peoples who are on the face of the earth. Yahweh didn't set his love on you nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all peoples. But because Yahweh loves you, And because he desires to keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, Yahweh has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that Yahweh your God himself is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness to a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments and repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore keep the commandments, the statutes, and the ordinances which I command you today to do them. 
it shall happen, because you listen to these ordinances and keep and do them, that Yahweh your God will keep with you the covenant and the loving kindness which he swore to your fathers. He will love you, bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground, your grain and your new wine and your oil, the increase of your livestock and the young of your flock in the land which he swore to your fathers to give you. You will be blessed above all peoples. There won't be male or female barren among you or among your livestock. Yahweh will take away from you all sickness, and he will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, on you, but will lay them on all those who hate you. You shall consume all the peoples whom Yahweh your God shall deliver to you. Your eyes shall not pity them. You shall not serve their gods, for that would be a snare to you. If you shall say in your heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them. You shall remember well what Yahweh your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. The great trials which your eyes saw, the signs, the wonders, the mighty hand, and the outstretched arm by which Yahweh your God brought you out. So shall Yahweh your God do to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, Yahweh your God will send the hornet among them until those who are left and hide themselves perish from before you. You shall not be scared of them, for Yahweh your God is among you, a great and awesome God. Yahweh your God will cast out those nations before you little by little. You may not consume them at once, lest the animals of the field increase on you, but Yahweh your God will deliver them up before you and will confuse them with a great confusion until they are destroyed. He will deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall make their name perish from under the sky. No one will be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them. You shall burn the engraved images of their gods with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourself, lest you be snared in it. For it is an abomination to Yahweh your God. You shall not bring an abomination into your house and become a devoted thing like it. You shall utterly detest it. You shall utterly abhor it, for it is a devoted thing.